Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Dealing with some partly cloudy skies out there with a scattered deck around 6,000 feet. Temperature sitting around 59 degrees. It'll likely be the warmest we'll see today over the next hour or two before we see things start to cool off as we do have a boundary that will be approaching the area but will remain dry. If you take a look at the current surface analysis, we can see that boundary just off to the northwest that will continue to push through our area as a dry cold front and we'll see some increased clouds and we'll see an increase in the winds as we get into the late morning and early afternoon. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding, we have some westerly winds near the surface turning more west southwesterly as we go up through the column. Fairly strong winds through the column as well as we do have an upper level jet above the region at the moment. So seeing a peak wind of 101 knots, around 25,000 feet, and then uh, weakening down to just 24 knots near 1,000 feet. And the freezing level is at 12,200 feet. Look at the current visible satellite. We can see those scattered clouds around 6,000 feet across the area. And then we can see that wind shift here off to the northwest. That's where that boundary is coming into the region. And we'll see that cloud cover behind it also move into the region as it pushes through today. Look at short-term high resolution model. Expecting a dry day today, but on the breezy side as we have that frontal passage pushing through. And then we'll see winds lighten up a bit as we go through the evening hours. Uh, could see, uh, we'll see mostly clear skies for the early morning hours Tuesday. And then uh, some light and variable winds for our Tuesday with a seasonable and quiet day uh, for Tuesday as high pressure briefly builds in over the area. And then that will start to move east and we'll see those winds shift out of the south as we go through the overnight hours Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning and we'll see those winds start to increase ahead of the next system that will be moving into our area. It's a surface cold front associated with an upper level trough digging across the northeast part of the country. Uh, that will also bring us a chance or excuse me likely see some rain showers moving into the area during the day on Wednesday Slight chance to see an uh, embedded thunderstorm with these as well, uh, but nonetheless, we'll see plenty of rain and we'll see some windy conditions. Could see some fairly strong wind gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. Then that will push through the area and we'll have high pressure and cooler air ushered in behind it. If we zoom out and take a look at the longer term forecast starting uh, Wednesday evening, you see that boundary continues to push out of the area. We'll have high pressure build in with some. Continued breezy conditions for our Thursday, but much cooler air uh, setting in for Thursday. And then we'll see a moderation of the temperatures as we go into Friday to more seasonable. As the high pressure becomes centered over the area, we'll see the winds lighten up a bit. And then that high pressure will move east and we'll see winds again turn out of the south. With a warming trend as we move into Saturday, it looks like we'll have another boundary approaching the area. As we go through the day on Saturday, likely our excuse me, chance of seeing some showers move into the area for the p.m. hours Saturday and possibly into the overnight hours and early Sunday morning. And then we'll see that boundary push out and high pressure will build back in for a seasonable end to the weekend and start to the next work week. So looking at 24-hour weather risk chart, we're green across the board today with the exception of an orange risk for those winds at or above 25 knots, expecting winds with that front to be out of the northwest around 12 to 17 knots with some gusts up to around 26 knots. So a good chance of seeing a wind advisory uh, issued this afternoon or late morning as that boundary pushes through. But then we'll see those winds start to weaken uh, and move more out of the north to northeast at around 5 to 10 knots. Expecting that high around 59 today. Again, uh, we're sitting around 59 at the moment. We'll likely see the warmest temperature uh, now until noon and then once that boundary pushes through the area with those winds picking up we'll see things start to cool down expecting temperatures to get down to around 36 for our tuesday morning and otherwise we'll see things clearing up uh, with some mostly clear skies uh, to start the day on tuesday tides are running normal at the moment if we look at the next couple of days tuesday quiet day mostly sunny to partly cloudy with mainly some high clouds moving in later in the day ahead of that next system, but otherwise seasonable temperatures with a high around 53 and green across the board for our weather risk. And as we go into Tuesday 
evening, expecting partly cloudy, and those clouds continue to increase, becoming mostly cloudy. A very slight chance of a uh, isolated rain shower trying to sneak in ahead of the next system, but most of the rain activity will hold off until the late morning hours Wednesday. But otherwise, we'll see those winds continue to increase through the overnight hours, becoming slightly breezy by Wednesday, early Wednesday morning with a low around 44. And we do have that yellow risk for those winds at or above 25 knots uh, with the chance of seeing those winds increasing uh, just just before we start the day on Wednesday. Otherwise, Wednesday looks to be the most active day with a cloudy and windy day, and we'll have those likely rain showers moving in by the late morning. Very slight chance of seeing an embedded thunderstorm uh, with these showers. Would not be surprised to see that chance increase over the next 24 hours or so, but for now, keeping it green for our lightning uh, with just about a 10% chance of lightning. And we are red for precip and winds at or above 25 knots, and yellow for those reduced ceilings and visibilities. Could see some gusts again up to 35 miles per hour for that Wednesday, so a windy day for Wednesday and a high expected of around 63 degrees. Look at the extended forecast as we go into Thursday, expecting some continued uh, slightly breezy to breezy conditions for our Thursday, but overall partly cloudy and a much cooler day as we see some cooler air. Moving in behind that front that pushes into the area, expecting a low around 33 Thursday morning with a high just around 47 uh, for our Thursday. Going into Thursday evening, another cooler evening with a high around, or excuse me, a low around 28 and a seasonal day for Friday with a high around 52 with partly cloudy skies. As we go into the weekend, we'll see the winds turn more out of the south, uh, bringing some slightly warmer temperatures for the weekend, low around 41 for Saturday morning, and then we'll see temperatures back up to around 60, 61 for our Saturday as that ahead of that next boundary pushing through with that chance of seeing some rain showers during the PM hours, looking about a 30% chance at the moment. And as we go into the evening hours, we'll see things start to clear up uh, with a low just around 40 degrees and then a seasonable day for Sunday with partly cloudy skies could see some slightly breezy conditions behind that boundary that moves through Saturday, but otherwise a high around 55. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.